Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this week. I'm running a bit late and today I'm reading for Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. And this reading here now is for Libra. Welcome Libra. First card for you is Manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper and this is the manifestation step one. On the easiest manifestation techniques is to write down what you want to manifest whether it is an idea, a wish, or a dream. This is one of the easiest manifestation techniques. So be honest with yourself and very clear about what it is you wish to happen. Once it exists on the paper, it exists in the physical world. Can it really be that simple, you might ask? And in a word, the answer is yes. Another great way to do this is to say, I wish to manifest. Now imagine what it is, the things I like to manifest in my life. Next, think of practical steps that you can take to start the process of bringing your idea into the world. Always remembering that your plan must respect the free will of others. Intention is key here, for it is our intent that directs the flow of energy in our life like a magnet. So stay fully focused and allow the fairy of manifestation to guide you during this magical exercise. Try to do one thing every day towards manifesting your idea, wish or dream and trust in the process. Be sure to keep a lookout for any fairy signs that may appear along the way and follow their advice. This way you are allowing the divine universal intelligence to help you manifest in the best way for achieving the highest good of all. Next card is the Owl Spirit and it is about wisdom. The sun has set and you feel a remarkable transformation occurring. Your body shape shifts into an owl. You stretch out your huge wings and silently soar to the top of the tallest pine tree and then look over the moonlit forest. Your ability to see the smallest details, even in the darkness, is remark remarkable. Your sight expands and you see luminous, light bodies of the spirit of the forest. They signal you with love and with compassion. Abounding insight, profound majesty and grace are available to you now simply by pulling your awareness inward. Ancient wisdom is emerging. You know the truth, so trust your intuition and perceptions right now. You are a truth seeker and a truth sharer. The excellent sight of an owl in the darkness corresponds 
with your ability to perceive the reality of a situation even in the murkiest of conditions so when this card chooses you you are at the advent of a time of profound illumination and transformation the owl sits at the shoulder of Athena, Athena and Merlin the owl is called the right eagle for it has the majesty of the eagle but works silently in the darkness of night so this card can also mean that it is time to embrace your dark side as well as your light side through doing so you will be in balance the spirit of the owl says to you trust in your ability to see the deepest truths in situations and in people wisdom is growing within you in mysterious ways beyond your awareness this is a good time to sign up for inspirational courses messages from spirit they are all around you so look for them and trust what you feel the next card is lilith and lilith was the first woman she says i am the voice of my body and my soul i choose the life that i desire to live so who is she lilith embodies our sovereignty to declare our desires and do what must be done in order to lift them out according to jewish folklore lilith was adam's first wife she was created from the same earth as adam so when he expanded her to be subservient to him she refused lilith explained to adam that they were equal and equally made by god so when adam insisted again on her submission lilith uttered the divine names and simply flew away supposedly adam sent angels after her to force her to return but she was with the archangel samuel and she desired to remain with him ancient jewish mitras or retelling of biblical stories portray lilith as a demon but contemporary feminist theologians they like judith plasco as she has incorporated the women's experience and the women's voices into any traditional text with their own mitras Plasco transforms the fearsome and vilified Lilith into a wise and empowered woman. So Lilith embodies the emotional and spiritual aspects of our unconscious or unrealized desires, sensuality and unbridled sexuality. She owns her body and soul completely for many women lilith is an icon of freedom lilith is the first woman she is the woman who refused to be dominated or defined by anyone or anything outside of herself so when the card comes up in your reading then Lilith is asking you what would happen if you left everything behind. She wonders 
what prevents you from getting to experience all that which you desire she asks you is it you is it an idea of someone you have to be is it society's definition of what it means what it means to be a woman so Lilith asks the question that sometimes never fully reached the light of consciousness Lilith is unclaimed she is the ruler of her body and soul and she reminds us that we are as well and not only that we have a secret obligation to be the body's fierce protector if i were entirely equal to everyone else to every man and every angel like samuel what would i choose for my life she is asking if i see myself as worthy as the first woman ever created by the divine what more would i ask for am i living the life i truly desire am i actually fulfilled sexually in my current relationship are there aspects of my sexuality i haven't been able to face and to voice lilith refuses to settle she answered all these questions within herself and she took action on the truth that she uncovered so lilith demanded that she meet with what she really desired and she is here to demand that we all do the same ask this soul voice meditation what does the life i truly desire look like and say this intention i am the voice of my body and soul i choose the life that i desire to live next card is victory it is about success and achievement this card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement success is on its way and you have a sense of pride in what you have worked to accomplish the achievement may be a great outer success or it may be a deep inner change that you have been exerting a lot of effort toward so enjoy this sense of accomplishment but be careful not to rest upon your laurels people expect outer triumph to bring great changes but often there may still be inner work to do so let yourself be open to victory on every level right now say this affirmation i am achieving great things within myself and in the world i see myself as a success in many wonderful ways even now next card is community community is about belonging being seen and understood by others sharing like-minded connections a sense of family and of friendship and knowing your place in the world the oracle's message is that this card sign signals a new affiliation with a group humans are social creatures and we need to know we are useful to our families and our communities in a community everyone has an important function and feels that they matter membership in the group 
provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are a part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming the group's leader. No matter your position in this group, your presence is needed. There is a relationship message. You are discovering the essential qualities that you share with others and perhaps also those you do not share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads and times when you lead and the other person follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is a part of that dance. Yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you do not want to repeat. You are in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. There is a prosperity message. Whenever you are in a community of like-minded other people, there is a powerful opportunity to reap great abundance. It's essential to ask, what can I contribute rather than what can I get from this? So figure out a need and look to fill it. Something meaningful will manifest. Even if what manifests is small, it is a sign that the doors of opportunity, they will swing open wider and wider. There's also another meaning of this card to consider. Do not try to be, to be all things to all people. Choose your role and be true to it and serve from a sense of authenticity. There is no greater feeling of accomplishment than knowing that you have a purpose. There is a protection message. Beware of compromising your integrity in order to belong. How do you dim your light or change yourself so others will accept you in the group is the question. Do you hide who you really are in order to play a role within the larger whole? This will never fulfill you, however. So now is the time to assess your willingness to be real. And so stand tall. Be you. Authenticity is true self-expression and only way to empower yourself. So do not be afraid to be yourself and step into the role that your heart tells you to take. Making yourself small bears too high a cost. And the wild unknown animal spirit card that came out is the peacock. The peacock is air energy. The peacock, the peacock stands for inner beauty, 
compassion. He is the assimilator of anything. The beauty of the peacock, peacock is unrivaled. It is easy to think it comes from the plumage, but the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. So this adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life so it does not harbor any resentment, conflict or past pain within its psyche. The peacock type is extremely rare. Not many of us have reached this advanced level of acceptance of the self and of others. When the card is in balance, you are confident and you are kind. When the card is out of balance, you cannot digest situations easily. And to bring both into balance, you need meditation on the navel. That was the reading for Libra. Thanks for listening, Libra. I do wish you a rest of a good week, take care and goodbye.